During the first century, the time of Jesus, people who were blind, people who were deaf, and even women had little or no status at all. They were constantly removed from populated areas of life, basically ignored. In those days, people were afraid of anything that was different than the status quo. And Jesus embraced that. The story of the Syrophensian woman and the deaf man are intricately linked because they demonstrate Jesus' willingness to upset the expectations of the world and welcome all into God's love. In today's story, Jesus will test the Gentile woman by giving her the first half of a sentence. He wants to know how she responds. She impresses him and her daughter will be healed. So here's ones for you. Here are the first parts of some well-known phrases. See if you can figure out the second half.
In today's story, we're reminded that Jesus doesn't just tell us how to pay attention to God, but he also shows us how to pay attention to God, even in the middle of a really busy moment. In today's story, we see Jesus step away from the noise and the busyness of the crowd. We see him take a moment to ask God for help. And then we see him up. Today's reading is from Mark 7, verses 24 to 30. Jesus and his disciples left the region of Galilee and went to the foreign region of Syrian Phoenicia, near Tyre. Jesus entered a house and did not want anyone to know that he was there. However, he couldn't keep his presence a secret. A woman whose little daughter was possessed by an impure spirit came and fell at his feet. She begged Jesus to drive the demon out of her daughter. The woman was a Greek born in Syrian Phoenicia and therefore someone the Jews despised as a Gentile. Her daughter was not with her but back at home. Jesus told her, first I should help my own family, the Jews. It isn't right to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. The woman thought carefully. That is true, sir, she replied. But even the puppies under the table are given some scraps from the children's plates. Good, said Jesus. You have answered well. So well that I have healed your little girl. Go on home, for the demon has left her. The woman went home immediately. She found her little girl lying quietly in bed. The demon had gone. Jesus heals the deaf and mute. Some people brought a man to Jesus who couldn't hear or talk. Please make this man well, they said. Jesus and the man stepped away from the people. Jesus didn't want everyone to listen when he talked to the man. Jesus put his fingers into the man's ears. Then Jesus spit into his hand and touched the man's tongue. Jesus looked up into heaven. He said, be open. As soon as Jesus said this, the man could hear and talk. Jesus told the man and his friends to not tell others what happened, but they were so amazed that they just kept talking about the wonderful thing that Jesus had done. The End After healing and teaching in Jewish territory, Jesus moves to the Gentile region of Tyre and Sidon. There he encounters Gentiles in need of healing, full of hope and faith in Jesus' healing ability. The people bring the needs of a sick girl and a deaf man to Jesus. Jesus heals them, and then he continues on his journey, urging the crowds to keep quiet about what he has done. Today's story explores how outsiders are included in our journey of faith. The Gentile woman and the disabled man are both people who are considered to be outsiders in Jesus' society. But there are no borders to God's love and welcome. When we chose to learn from Jesus how to pay attention to God, one of the things we learned to do is to keep asking and listening to God for help, even in the busy moments, just like Jesus did in today's story. As we learn how to keep paying attention to God, even in the busy times, we will better know the combination that God wants to share with us, the one that will help us open the locked up and lockdown situations that we and people around us are often experiencing. And that's the good news for today. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, 
Thank you for our ears. Help us listen. Thank you for our minds. Help us think clearly. Thank you for our voices. Help us to see kind words. Amen. Today's song is to the tune of Old MacDonald at a Farm. Jesus cares for everyone, he wants us to do. And when we speak and act his way, Jesus makes us new. With a hug right here and a kind word there, here a hug, there a word, everyone's a friend right here. Jesus cares for everyone, he wants us to do. J-E-S-U-S -S is here, healing all day long. If someone brings a poorly friend, Jesus Christ will help. With a broken leg or an achy tum, broken leg, achy tum, anyone in need can come. J-E-S-U-S -S is here, healing all day long. I'm just a little prayer bear. I'll sit upon your bed. It's my job to remind you when your prayer should be said. When you put me on your pillow as you make your bed each day, remember as you hold me to take the time to pray. Then when you go to bed at night and put me on the floor, remember to take the time to kneel and say your prayers once more. Let's have a go at making our own prayer beer. In our story today, Jesus keeps trying to stay out of the spotlight, and everyone knows where he is. A woman, who is not really accepted in the community, finds him and asks him to heal her daughter. Another group of people bring their friend to Jesus so that Jesus can open his ears and let him hear. All of this happens when Jesus is trying to have a little quiet time, but everyone knows where he is. People seem to be coming to Jesus for several different reasons, but they all have one thing in common. They have faith. Faith that Jesus can do something about it, whatever it is. 
People come who are sick or who need guidance or food or just need to be loved. The story's interesting because the two people that Jesus heals didn't even bring themselves to him. In fact, one person doesn't even show up. Family and friends are showing up at his feet to get help for the people that they love. Sometimes we need to show up for our friends and family. Sometimes we need to be the ones who have faith when others cannot. Loving Jesus, as we leave today, help us to tell everyone about your amazing love. May we trust and serve you like your disciples did. Amen. Here's a little going home song to the tune of Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Bye bye everyone, now it's time to go. Make a difference everyone, just like Jesus shows. Bye bye everyone, now it's time to go. Make a difference everyone, just like Jesus shows.